Um, today I wanted to talk about yarn tying a quilt. Um, tying a quilt literally is just that, tying a quilt. And sometimes you do this in place of quilting, like make it really simple for yourself. Um, I like to put my ties on top of machine quilting. Here's a good look of it if you can't see it. Um, it's really, really old fashioned. Um, it's, old. it's very simple. Um, the first time I ever tied a quilt, I hated it because you're constantly threading a needle with yarn and I didn't have the right products and I didn't have the trick I have now. So I want to show you that trick. I want to tell you about what products you need and I want you to be able to do this too if you like it. So let's get started. Okay, let's go over supplies first. Um, you need two thimbles, a leather needle. Um, this is a needle that has a really big eye and a sharp point. You need a pair of snips. These are mine from Havels. Um, you need some yarn. Um, this is just acrylic yarn. And you need a slip of paper that looks about like this. This is just notebook paper. It, it needs to be narrow enough so that you can just fold it over once and slip it through your uh, needle. So I like to wear a thimble on my thumb and a thimble on my finger, like that. And you need something on both these fingers so you can really grip your needle. Your slip of paper, you wanna fold it in half and you want to really press down on it to make it as flat as possible. Then open it up and slip your yarn in inside of it and you're not you're not cutting your yarn it's still attached to the skein. You want to make sure that your yarn doesn't reach the top so it's somewhere in there and then fold it real tight then take your needle slip your paper inside your needle and then pull out the yarn and then now you're ready to tie you want to find wherever you want to put your needle. And I usually have a hand on the bottom, kind of directing my needle a little bit. And you want to tie the shortest amount you can. Mine's about a quarter inch. You got your needle through all three layers twice. So you're putting it down and then you're coming back up. Then you want to take your needle and just do this little number right here. And you're trying to make that hole a little bit bigger so that you don't have to uh, pull as hard. So I just do this and then holding on to this side of your quilt, see I'm pinching this with my hand on the back of the quilt, you just pull. And then it'll pull off the yarn through. It doesn't have to be pulled, that's about how long I'm pulling mine. And then you wanna tie, do one little knot and then do another knot. And take your snips and I like them to be less than a half inch and that's how you do it 